not what you send, it's that you do. I don't believe. All my emails are personalized. My houses come up in the first You're recording that testimony. Really, the more you have to be organized. Not to put all your eggs into one basket. Keep those people remembering you. Give them what they're looking for. But properly priced is the key. And I say, how can I do this different? You know, we don't have a technology problem. We have a people problem. You have to build a relationship. Secret, the top-selling agent with your host. Deborah Helleran and Mel McMurray. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I'm Deborah Helleran, producer and host of Secrets of Top Selling Agents. And with me here in the Secrets Northern California Cobb Mountain Studio is my co-host Mel McMurray. Hi, Mel. How are you doing? There I am. Good morning. <laughs> Our guest today really needs no introduction, but I have to say he practices what he preaches. Michael Mayer, he's hands down the most generous person I've ever met in business. He's giving away all kinds of things, including his book, The Seven Levels of Communication, Going from Relationships to Referrals. It's been on the national bestseller list now for over 300 days. In fact, I think Michael just said uh, over a, a year. year. And it wasn't just the one blast that did that. It's been solid. It's uh, number 26 uh, as of this morning. Congratulations, Michael. Michael is known as America's most referred real estate professional who owns one of the top real estate companies in Kansas City. He receives over 500 referrals and averages over 200 transactions per year, while the average agent gets three referrals and does five transactions per year. That's amazing. Secrets to Top Selling Agents welcomes Michael Mayer. Thank you, Michael, for joining us. Wow. Thank you. I've been watching the attendee list. That's, that's incredible. Uh, it's it's like watching uh, I don't know it's like watching a ticker list it's it's uh, flying up the up the numbers so uh, I appreciate everybody being on today and and I have to say I especially appreciate uh, you and Mel and Lindsay uh, for for putting this on you guys are truly uh, you are truly doing immense work for this industry and uh, you should be applauded for that oh, thank you thank you so much thanks Michael on behalf of uh, all the staff, including Lindsay and pa and Patty and Laura and Gary and Audrey and lots more. Yeah, Thank good, you. good backup stuff. Hey, Michael, I hear you're coming out with another book at the end of the year. <laughs> well, maybe at the end of next year. Yes, it's it's uh, all a secret. It's all a secret. But yes, uh, I, I, at the end of next year there will be uh, another book to add to it, and I am so excited to uh, release that. I, I cannot wait. I, I've been working on it for you know about a year and a half now and it's uh, for those that have loved 7L they're they're gonna love this even more. So. Fantastic. All right Michael I've been waiting for this uh, webinar for the last month. Go ahead. Well thank you I appreciate it and and uh, you know I know how Larry Kendall felt last year he had mentioned a couple times when he did his December 2010 uh, planning that uh, he had like you know 42 years worth of material to cover in, in 40 minutes and and I definitely understand that feeling so I, I am gonna go quickly through this and and I want the the attendees to know uh, listen we're, we're here to answer questions and, and we're here to make this happen um, I am gonna go fast but remember this is recorded and you can get it off the secrets of top selling agents dot com website later on uh, to review it so don't fret if you don't get something perfectly as I go through this now the first thing is is uh, you know welcome to the generosity generation we are in we the wave is growing in the generosity generation and what is the generosity generation well what has happened is we have uh, evolved as an economy and quite honestly I think the real estate industry is ahead of the game in this is it we have evolved from the ego era which is 1997 to 2007 when it was all about personal promotion and getting your own domain name right I had michaeljmayer.com just like you have your name.com and the website was an online business card that sold everything about us and guess what your mom went there and she loved it and that's about all the people that were looking for that right what what they're really looking for is help and that's how we've evolved now the websites are all about them.com it, it, it's all about the other person and truly finding out more about them and and we are in the midst of an economic psychological sociology you know, sociological and attitudinal shift in the consumers where they don't want to see you bragging they don't want the slicks what they really want is help they want 
generosity. So I will tell you that generosity leads to reciprocity. And reciprocity is, of course, all about referrals. And this is about referrals. Today is about referrals in a world that is soon to be all about referrals. So that's the generosity generation. So communicating with me, whoops, I did that. Communicating with me, uh, if you want to buy a book, you can go to 7lbook.com. I will autograph and get that out to you uh, by Christmas, it looks like right now. Um, if you want to email, it's info at 7lbook.com. Uh, for events that we run, go to gengenevents.com. Uh, my Twitter handle, the one I use most often is 7lbook. And then, of course, I have Michael J. Mayer as well. The hashtag for the generosity generation is the GenGen, and the the is in there. And then uh, great conversation, including Deborah Hellren, at facebook.com slash seven levels. And the seven is spelled out, S-E-V-E-N. YouTube.com, a bunch of follow-up videos there. You can uh, check us out on our TV channel online, which is youtube.com slash 7LTV. And of course, please, please, please connect with me on LinkedIn at mayorprofile.com. Now, here, here's the, the two things that we're going to overcome today, right? Why not you? Do you know what the number one reason you aren't getting that first referral from every single person in your database is? Haven't you ever wondered that? You know all these people. Why aren't you getting a referral, at least one referral, from every single person once a year? I mean, haven't you ever been curious about that? You know all these people, right? And, and you think they kind of know you, right? Raise your hand right now if you have high integrity, if you, are, you have a strong character, if you care. Raise your hand. Do you care? All right, that, raise your right hand if you care. Now, listen, how many of you, or at least reasonably, competent, right? You can at least fill out a contract and, and, and close on a home, right? Raise your left hand if you are at least reasonably competent. All right, when I do my presentations in, in person, I have them do that, and, and every single person raises their hand and says, I have integrity, I'm honest, and so on and so forth. And guess what? Surveys will prove that. NAR uh, does not have complaints about your integrity and honesty, right? And then I say, how many of you are at least a little competent, right? Reasonably competent, and, and many of you are strongly competent. Well, everybody raises their hand, and guess what? Studies and surveys will prove to you and prove to the world that guess what? You're not being sued for your competence or incompetence. Uh, you, the complaints at NAR are not about your competence. They are not about how much you care and your honesty, and they are not about your, um, not about your competence. What? So why don't we get a referral from every single person? If we're caring and competent, people should refer us. But here is the number one reason you aren't getting that first referral from every single person in your database. Now, before I disclose this, how would that change your business? If you got a referral from every single person in your database, how would that change your business? How would that change your lifestyle? How would that change everything about what you do? So here's what we need to know. We need to know this reason, and here's the reason you aren't getting that first referral from every single person that knows you. It is perceived indifference. Perceived indifference. They don't know what they don't know. You know what they don't know? They don't know that you care. And, and, and another thing they don't know, they don't know how competent you are. And the other thing is that, and this is the biggest thing, is they don't know that you want and need their referrals. So how do we overcome perceived indifference? Communication. So we need to create a communication plan, which is what we're going to talk about today. Now, here's the other part, right? So let's say that we do get a referral. All right, raise your hand if you've ever gotten a referral. You've ever gotten a referral. Absolutely. Good. So my work on earth is not over because there are some of you that have never gotten a referral. Well, isn't it, here's one thing, is aren't you curious as to the number one reason you aren't getting that second referral from every single referral source? 
Doesn't doesn't that truly make you wonder? I got a referral from them, but why didn't I get another referral from them? Now I have to tell you this that this is going to punch some of you in the gut, and I and I don't mean to do this. I, I I probably should apologize, but I'm not. But here's the number one reason you don't get that second referral from every single referral. And listen, this is from surveys from my coaching clients. This is surveys to consumers. This is business surveys. This is from my 42 years of research. Here is the number one reason you aren't getting that second referral from every single referral source. It's lack of expressed appreciation. Now, what's the, what's the root word there? You know, what's the most important word? It's expressed. Of course you're appreciative. Of course you're appreciative when they get the referral. But let me tell you something. In my conversations with consumers and, and talking with consumers, there are people who have referred a contractor, referred an agent, and never heard again from that agent whether the referral worked or not. There are people who literally found out from the client they referred that the client was already in their new home. That's ridiculous. We need to be expressing appreciation, and a communication plan allows us to do that. So before I can get in the communication plan, I need to let you know about the communication period. I know some of you have seen this a thousand times. Some of you have never seen it. But the things that I want to really hone in on are the bottom three levels, advertising, direct mail, and electronic communication. Electronic communication includes email, social media, Facebook, so on and so forth. That is called the informational zone. And the informational zone is perfect for informing, confirming, and updating. Informing, confirming, and updating. So just remember that about the informational zone. The top three levels, by the way, the buffer zone here are handwritten notes, and I talk about the seven steps to a power note and so on and so forth. Um, handwritten notes are the highest level of what's called asynchronous communication. Asynchronous just means that you deliver the message, it is received whenever the other person wants to receive it, right? All of the bottom levels are that way. Well, the highest form of that is handwritten notes. And I will tell you, if you took some of your Facebook time and substitute handwritten note time, that would be a far better use of your time because, once again, handwritten notes are the highest form of asynchronous communication. The top three levels are where it's at. You probably heard me and Alan Dom on, on a, a Secrets of Top Selling Agents uh, uh, you know, several months ago. And listen, all we talked about that whole call, that whole webinar, was being in the influential zone. High achievers, top producers, they spend at least 80% of their time on phone calls, hosting and attending events and or webinars, and one-on-one -on -one meetings. That is what I call the influential zone. And the influential zone is perfect for influencing, convincing, and selling. Influencing, convincing, and selling. That is the communication period, uh, pyramid in a nutshell. You can, of course, read more about it in 7L, the seven levels of communication. Now, this is getting a lot of buzz lately, and uh, I've heard Gary Keller use this, and Jay Papasan use this, and, and a few others use this. And uh, I will tell you that as, as the word spreads, um, this is a, a scale that you may want to just kind of um, keep in your mind is a zero, this is the relationship scale. So you have a relationship with every person and it fits on this scale, right? A zero is you've never met them. A one through three is somebody that you don't have any chemistry with and a four through seven is cordial and friendly. You, you get along, you get along great, right? An eight is a client, somebody that has entrusted you with money. A nine is a champion and that is somebody that refers you one time a year. And then the ambassador. Oh my gosh, my, my voice even softens. Ambassadors are my life. Ambassadors are those that refer you more than once a year to the tune of Jeff Holman, 14 referrals. Jeff Crooks, 41 referrals. Uh, Andy Clotter, eight referrals. You know, multiple referrals per year that turn into transactions. Ambassadors are truly where you need to be spending your time, energy, effort, and money. But here's what happens. 
to take a quick swig of water there. Here's what happens is that we uh, take a relationship and we build it from a zero to either a one through three or a four through seven. I mean, that's what we do in, in business, in life. We, we figure out, <laughs> is this a person that we want to spend no time with or little time, or is this person that we could spend some time with? Right? That's what we do in life, is we build it to the point where we know whether we like them or not. Well, I have to tell you something, is that you need to build the relationship to a phenomenal level right from the beginning. One of the reasons I get 500 plus referrals a year is because I take a relationship, a lot of times from a zero, and sometimes from a four through eight, to the referral zone, which is the nine and 10 level. That is where you want your relationships. You want them in the champion zone and the ambassador zone. You want to be in the referral zone with your people. So how do you do that? You do it with communication. So here are the seven steps to creating a communication plan for 2012. And I am so excited to deliver this because I'll be honest with you, if you have waited to create a business plan, maybe you haven't created a business plan at all, and, and, and part of your business plan would be a marketing plan and so on and so forth, I'm going to let you know something, that if you just had a communication plan, you would be fine. Your business would take care of itself. You wouldn't worry about marketing. And you could just focus on this, and it's going to turn out to be the most profitable and fulfilling thing that you do. So the first thing is we need to set a referral goal. We're going to create a collection of connections. One of the problems out there is we have a lot of connections. However, we don't have a collection of them. They're all over the place. So you need to do that. You're going to grade every connection. You're going to create a plan for every grade. We're going to block the time, of course, to execute the plan. And I will tell you that if you give me eight and a half hours of your week, I will get you 100 referrals next year. Now, of course, I can't promise that SEC, FTC, blah, 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 disclaimer, disclosure, blah, blah, blah. But listen, it works. Enter the plan per person into your schedule. And then number seven, of course, is where the rubber meets the road. And you need to implement. So let's set a referral goal. You're gonna, here's how you set a referral goal for 2012. I give two times as many referrals and receive one times as many referrals in 2012. So let's say you wanted to receive 50 referrals in 2012. That would change your lifestyle. That would change your life. You've never done more than 20 transactions in your career. Well, and you want to receive 50 referrals. So you, your referral goal would be, I give 100 referrals and receive 50 referrals in 2012. There is a ton of beauty in that in that goal. Can you, can you see it? Uh, one part of this is, honestly, can you share your volume goal with your friends, your family members, your community? Can you share your volume goal? When I say, yeah, I, uh, my goal is 50 million for 2012, does that mean anything to a consumer? Yeah, they're thinking, I made 50 million dollars. Right? And, and of course, they're so incredibly, they don't feel like they can help you at all. And then transactions. I would, you know, our goal is 200 transactions in 2012. What does that mean? To the consumer, they don't even know what that means. But a referral goal, when you say, my goal is to give 100 referrals and receive 50 referrals in 2012, they instantly know what you mean and they can help you with it. It's realistic. You know, that's only four a month received. That's, you know, that's eight a month given. That's very realistic. So they can help you with that. So first of all, set a referral goal. I have coaching clients and, and, and people that have read the book and, and emailed me that they put their referral goal on their bathroom mirror, on their refrigerator, on their office uh, desk, and even in their car dashboard. And I have to tell you, that is the way to achieve a goal right there. So that's your referral goal. Now what you need to do is share it. Here's my first action item for you is I encourage you to come up with a referral goal right now and as soon as this webinar is over, share it on Facebook. 
Share it as your status update. Just say, I've established my referral goal for 2012, and it is I will give 100 referrals and receive 50. Re now, here's the deal. That 150 don't have to be your numbers, but make sure that the first number is double and the second number is single. Um, and share it. You're going to find out a lot of things. You may actually get a referral from that status update. Now, what you, of course, want to do is make sure that they send that private message to you. But share the goal. Share that goal and share it and share it and share it. That's your first action item. All right, next is you need to collect your connections. Do you have all of your contacts in one place? That's the first, I mean, seriously. And, and do I mean internet leads? I absolutely do not mean internet. Internet leads do not get into my, do not get into my community until they have signed a buyer's commitment or uh, listing agreement. Um, but here's the question. Do you have all of your contacts in one place? If you don't, here's my suggestion. My suggestion is that you funnel everything to Microsoft Excel or a, or a spreadsheet. The reason I say Microsoft Excel is because once it's in that spreadsheet, you can upload it to anything. You can upload it to a drip campaign manager. You can upload it to number one experts. You can upload it very easily to Gmail. You can upload it very easily to any um, CRM, any database management system. So put it in Excel and, and use that as your baseline. Now, I want to put up a poll here. How many people are in your database? Here it is. And do me a favor here. With so many, we have hundreds and hundreds, we have thousand people on the line. If you can do me a favor, and as soon as that submit button comes up, please select one and then hit submit. For some of you, it will take a little while for that submit button to come up. Don't necessarily, don't necessarily, um, you know, don't don't go nuts with that. You don't necessarily have to. Uh, um, uh, and, don't don't sweat it. So. And everybody, you don't have to uh, chat it to us. Just click on the screen, select one of those boxes. We're getting a lot of <laughs> yeah. answers on the chat side. <laughs> it looks so, like okay. 500 is winning out at the moment. <laughs> Tell us when to close, Michael. Okay. By the All way, right, we will get to questions. Uh, people are asking, are there going to be questions? And we will have questions and answers at the end. Yep. Um, an extended period. Perfect. All right. Well, let's close that out. And uh, Deborah, if you could let me know what the uh, what the average is, that would be great. Okay. There it is. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's that's fantastic. And and that's uh, fairly common. So let's say 500 is is our average. That sounds perfect. Thank you. All right. We're going to close that poll now. Here here's the thing thing to think about with your database is it is your community. This is this is something that is so contrasting to what is taught out there. Some people just say put everybody in your database that you can't, right? Don't look at it that way anymore. Look at your database as your community. It's your city. It's your family. Are you going to let everybody into your family? No. It is a group of people to be cherished, loved, communicated with, and notice the highlight here, protected. You need to protect your database. No jerks. No, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. No jerks in your in your database. Now, let's say you're just getting started, or you want to make sure that your database is perfect. It has everybody that you could ever imagine in it. Go to and this is a free download. You don't mind if I give you a bonus, do you? Is is that okay to to give? You? Uh, okay, excellent. Totally. Now, you can go to sevenlbook.com and then slash in lowercase. Go to Ultimate Memory Jogger, download that document, and that is the Ultimate Memory Jogger. I have put together the best of the best of all the memory joggers out there and put it all in one document so that you can easily and quickly go through and remember people that you uh, need to remember uh, and add them to your database and, and make them part of your family and your community. Now. The next step here is you need to grade your connection. So after you've done the, done the memory jogger, or if you feel like your database is in great shape, the number one thing about your, why do you have a database? You have a database to get referrals. 
That, I mean, honestly, that's why you have a database. So if you have a database to get referrals, shouldn't we grade everybody in the database for referral generation? Well, I certainly think so. So here's how you grade your database. The A pluses are the ambassadors. See how, I, see how my voice changes? Ambassadors have changed my life. They have absolutely made my life so fulfilling and allowed me to write a book and allowed me to do so many things that, that uh, man, just you need to create and nurture ambassadors. It's, it's a beautiful life. That is somebody who gives you more than re one referral in the last 12 months. Now, an A is a champion. That's one referral in the last 12 months regardless of outcome. Let's say you blew it. Don't worry about it. Keep them as a champion. They've entrusted you at least once. And by the way, one of the best things you can do is convert your champions to ambassadors. And listen to this. It's not going to cost you a dime. All it costs you is a little time to express appreciation. Bs, here's the, a majority of where you're at is going to be potential champions. And, and this is, you just don't know. You just don't know. You look at the name and you're like, I have no idea whether they would refer me or not. And, and that's okay. So what do you need to do? You need to make them a B and go to the next. Now a C is somebody you know and they're friendly and you think that they would refer you, but they haven't. That's a C. And then, of course, D, you're going to mark a D. Some of them you're going to delete. You're going to delete the jerks out. And then you're going to drip on the rest. So mark them as a D. A D is, is just somebody that um, you don't necessarily want to delete. Uh, because, and I'll be honest with you. I used to just tell people, delete, delete. But I've had so many people that are like, I, I can't delete them. So it's, I, I go, OK, just keep them in a drip campaign. We're not going to think any more about them. So we've, we've collected them, we've graded them. Now we need to create a plan for each grade. So in for basically, for an A+, plus, I'm going to communicate this way. So basically, for the, the grade, I'm going to communicate in a certain way. So for the, the Ds that we kept and everyone, we are going to do a drip campaign. We're going to send them an email once a month uh, and quite honestly, I'm a big supporter of dripping them success stories, uh, which is a story for another day. C's, we're going to call them once per year. And I have to say that this is just a suggested, notice that it says for example, but one call per year with your C is something that I highly recommend. Okay, Your B's, one call with Are You the Chosen One script, and I'm going to cover the Are You the Chosen One script here in a second, and then we're going to go to a break. One call with Are You the Chosen One script. Now your A's, remember, here's where the rubber starts meeting the road with your database. This is, these are the, the, the ones to truly cherish. They have entrusted you with somebody they, they like, uh, and they've shown that they, they love, respect, and trust you. Um, A, four calls per year, two one-on-ones. So you're going to do one call every quarter. And you're going to meet them in the first half of the year. You're going to meet them in the second half of the year. Easy enough, right? A pluses. This is where this is an ambassador. One call per month, and four one-on-ones, which is one meeting per uh, per uh, per quarter. So twelve calls per year, four one-on-ones. All right. Here is a sample. Isn't this cool? I mean, we're literally building your communication plan in 40 minutes. 2012 communication plan. This is an example. I will give 200 referrals and receive 100 referrals in 2012. A pluses, that's what it would look like. A's, that's what it looks like. Your B's is your call. Your C's, your phone call is one time per year. One-on-one's none scheduled. Your D's, no calls, no one-on-one -on -one meetings. And all get a monthly drip or an automated success story by email. That's a sample communication plan. So we need to know. Here is the Are You the Chosen One script. And then we're going to go to break. And this script is so impactful that it's going to blow you away. Now here, here's the Are You the Chosen One script. So imagine a phone call or imagine meeting one-on-one -on -one with someone. 
and you want to know whether you're the professional that's going to get the business or not. So uh, here's the question. I was just curious. If you had a friend or neighbor who was looking to sell their house, who would you recommend they call first? And, and I want you to notice the power of that. Notice that you're going to ask it in just a neutral way. Don't be attached to the outcome. right? If they say somebody else, that's a positive. I want you to know that. If they say somebody else, it's a positive because now you know versus wondering. So I was just curious. If you had a friend or neighbor who was looking to sell their house, who would you recommend they call first? So I hope, I hope you've gotten that written down. I'm going to go to the next slide here. Now, the four responses you're going to get. One is you, of course. And it's like, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. What do you, what do you like? What do you like about what I do? And, and so you're just going to have a conversation about that, right? But the thing is, is now you know. Now, they may say, top producer Joe. Let's say they say, you know what, top producer Joe. And at that point, you go, OK, that's great. How do you know top producer Joe? Well, he's my neighbor. Uh, we've, we've lived next to each other for about 12 years now. Well, what do you like about what Top Producer Joe does, right? You're, you're totally um, neutral about this. What you're doing is now you know, right? I mean, if they're going to refer somebody, it's going to be Top Producer Joe. Um, and, and, and why not find out what they like about Top Producer Joe that maybe you can use with other people in your database, right? But But after you're done with that conversation, you're going to make them a D. At the very least, drip on them, and at the very most, just delete them, uh, truly. Um, all right, so let's say they say average, uh, average producer John, right? They say average producer John. Well, what's your relation to average producer John? Or how do you know average producer John? And they're going to tell you, you know, uh, he's my nephew, or um, you know, he's a friend at church, or whatever it may be, and go, well, what do you like about what average producer John does? Right? Notice the questions are the same no matter what. And at that point, they're going to tell you, and I will tell you, if you'll get one of two things. One is this person's a go-getter, and uh, maybe you should get to know average producer John because he's not going to be average producer John Long. He may be more than that. He may become top producer John. Um, the, the other part of it is you, you're going to get wishy-washy, and this is what I get 99% of the time. You're going to get a wishy-washy answer, and it's like, well, you know, he's been in the business six months and, and this, that, and the other. Um, if you feel like there is um, an opportunity there, you are going to mark that person as a C in your database. Okay, if you think that there's maybe an opportunity down the road, you think maybe average producer John won't be in the business, and by the way, there's an 80% chance that average producer John won't be in the business within three years. So keep them in your database, keep them as a C. Now, you're going to get the answer of, I don't know, and by the way, I get that answer a lot, is I don't know who I'd refer. And here's what you say to that. You say, what would it take for me to be that professional. And, and by the way, that's a double entendre, there's a double meaning to that sentence. What would it take for me to be that professional? That it means, what would it take for me to be that professional? And then it means, what would it take for me to be that professional? So it, it, you're asking how to get the business. How do you become that referral source, that contact source for this person? That is an opportunity. And, and from that conversation, you want to take that person and, and nurture them to be an A. You, you want to do whatever the, it takes to be that professional, to be that guy, to be that woman. Um, now, I want to tell you there's actually four and a half responses. The half response, realtors, if you're listening to me, uh, uh, this, is, this is something to hear. And that is, they may say, um, Mike Searcy. And you go, well, you've never heard of Mike Searcy. And you go, well, how do you know Mike Searcy? He's my financial planner. And you're like, hmm, so what's your relationship with, you know, how do, what do you like that Mike Searcy does? Well, he communicates, I take any financial decision to Mike Searcy. Well, what are you going to do there? You're, I mean, you're going to do whatever it takes to get an introduction 
to Mike Searcy. Because remember, the question was, if you had a friend or neighbor who was looking to sell their house, who would you recommend they call first? And it's Mike Searcy, a financial planner, or it's Dave Thomas, a lender. You want to meet that person. That person is referable. So, um, so you actually have four and a half responses to that. Now, here's the thing. It takes courage to ask this question. It, it takes courage. And, and I have to tell you that it took courage from me the first two or three times I did it. But here's the bottom line. Knowing is always better than wondering. Always. You want to know who to spend your time, energy, effort, and money with. You definitely want to know rather than wondering. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that. And let's go into the break. And then we're going to talk about how to put the rubber to the road and, and make it work. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, in fact, we're going to put some rubber to the road right here. A lot of people have been asking about uh, CRMs. And uh, you can talk about that later, Michael. But one of the things uh, you might consider, folks, is Homes Connect. It does that and a whole lot more. Social prospecting, lead hub, file, IDX search, and the power of homes.com local ads. You probably already know about those that reach over 7 million uh, viewers that come every month. There's a whole lot more. Joe Sesso, who will be joining us uh, later on in the hour, will show us a little bit about Homes Connect. Michael, and we have a winner of Michael Mann's book. Woo. Winner number one is Toby McDonnell from Dillon, Montana. Congratulations, Toby. Way to go, Toby. Now, a lot of you are joining late, and so here you have a chance here at the end of the webinar to win another book. Here's the way you do it. Like Homes Connect on Facebook or follow Homes underscore Connect on Twitter. You can do that now. You can. Put this in your calendar. Barbara Corcoran, you know her from uh, the Today Show or ABC Shark Tank. She's coming in March. You can't register for that webinar yet, though, as we're getting all the details settled. However, you can register for Sue Adler, who joins us for the next webinar in January, giving the consumer what the consumer wants. So register for Sue's webinar. That will get you in the loop, and you'll know our February and March webinars. And Sue is a fantastic presenter. We can't she wait for both of those. In fact, uh, the whole first of the year is going to be a powerhouse. Michael continues to give away all kinds of things, and he's got space in his January boost sessions. He saved it for Secrets of Top Selling Agents listeners, and you can win one of those at the web end of the webinar. We'll draw just for sticking around. You don't have to do anything to qualify except stick around. And you're going to want to stick around because Joe Sesso is going to be telling us everything we need to know about the 10 apps you need on that smartphone or on that iPad. Get an edge on your competition and close more business with Joe Sesso at the end of the hour. So we're going to go to about a quarter after the hour. And back to you, Michael. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I can't wait to hear uh, Joe Sesso's information. That, that's fantastic. And um, also on that is uh, if you haven't uh, been out to 7lbook.com, uh, listen, when you order from there, that does get signed and, and sent directly to you. Uh, so check out 7lbook.com. Now, what we've done is we have created a referral goal. We have collected our connections. We have graded our connection based on referral generation. We have, and then we have created a plan for each grade. So what, what do we need next to do next? What we need to do next is we need to block the time to execute the plan. And here's what you need to do. You need to block off four and a half hours a week for one-on-one -on -one meetings. And this is to meet with new people. This is to create and nurture your current database. Um, this is blocked off time for one-on-one -on -one meetings. We understand the importance and the power of meeting with a person face-to-face. -face. And, and, and not just enlisting and buyer appointments, we're talking to actually build our business through referrals, to build ambassadors, to keep those relationships. It's all about relationships. And then also four hours of hour of power. So what, are, what is the ideal four and a half hours for your uh, and, and by the way, you can meet those four and a half hours anytime you want. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you Z, right? There's, there's 26 different ways to do it, A to Z. And I, I'm going to tell you Z because I have done so many of these. I've done these for 11 years. And uh, there's so many different ways to network and meet with people. What I've found is this is the best. So 11.30 to 1 is a networking one-on-one -on -one lunch. This is reserved for your ambassadors and the people who have referred you 
And it, I mean, you're going to be at a lunch, right? You're buying them lunch, and sometimes if it's a new person, you're going to go to lunch and, and go Dutch, right, where each of you buy your own. Um, one to two, you have a networking one-on-one -on -one meeting. Call it a coffee. That's what we do in the Midwest. We say, hey, meet me for coffee at 1 o'clock. I will have already eaten lunch at 11.30, um, but uh, let's stop by uh, at 1. Come by EBT, my restaurant. Now, 2 to 3 is another networking one-on-one, -on -one, and then 3 to 4 is your last networking one-on-one. -on -one. And I will tell you that um, the best days to do, the, do this are Wednesdays and Thursdays, and a kind of a, a, a second place would be Friday afternoons. Now, there is so much power to this, and I don't have time to go into all of it. If you're like me, you will take this and you will just implement it, and you'll discover some of all the powers that come with doing a networking stack. Right? If, if you need more convincing, I just want you to know something magical can happen at 1 o'clock, Something magical can happen at 2 o'clock. Something magical can happen at 3 o'clock, right? Because m people get a chance to meet other people. You get to introduce two people. And I want you to know something. When you connect two great people, everybody wins. And when I see everybody, they win. Uh, you know, person A wins, person B wins, and you win because you made the connection. And, and how beautiful is that? I'll give you an example. Somebody needs a roof work done. You have a roofer that's a friend of yours, right, and does great work. You connect the person who needs a roof to the roofer who wins, right? The, the person who needs the roof work wins. The roofer wins because they get business. Um, and you win because you made the connection and put them together. That's powerful. So what we need to do, this is a proactive, strategic way to make things like that happen. Uh, like I said, there, there are dozens more powerful things. So the question is, which day are you going to do your networking stack? And, and any day is open, Monday through Sunday. Uh, I've, I've had coaching clients who have done them right after church on Sunday. And, and I have to say that that's great. That's super. So which day are you going to do your networking stack? Now, how do we make this very, very, very powerful strategy even more powerful? How do we take the efficient and make it even more effective? We do this. We meet at the home court advantage. This is kind of the cheers effect, right? Norm walked into cheers and what they all say. Hey Norm. <laughs> and, and and so Norm would sit down and, and everyone knew his name. Well what we need to do is become a regular at a nice restaurant, not a bar and grill, not a bar like Norm. But we need to use the same effect, but at a nice restaurant. So you need to choose a, an upscale restaurant in your city. If they have a private room, that is the best. That is the absolute best. Um, but you're going to become a regular at this restaurant. And so the question is, what restaurant in your city or around your area is ideal to become a regular at? It needs. The nice thing about this is, remember, you're, you're meeting these people for lunch. Well, lunch at most of these upscale restaurants are about a fourth of the price as dinner. Isn't that interesting? You get the same aura. You get the same wait staff. You get a lot of times the same food, and it's a fourth the price. Uh, so th you know that's another huge advantage right there. Um, this is the way to have an office away from the office. Once again, there's much that's been written on becoming regular at a nice restaurant. This is how you combine these two strategies to make, listen to this, the ultimate first impression. And remember, how many times do you get a chance to make a first impression? One. So you, the reason that I strategized this way and created the home court advantage and the networking stack was I wanted to create the ultimate first impression. And this truly does it. So what restaurant are you thinking about right now that would be perfect for the home court advantage? So we've talked about the four and a half hours for one-on-one -on -one meetings. Now we need to take four hours out of our schedule to, to block off for outgoing calls, communicating with our database, proactive scheduled calls. 
So my question to you is, is four hours. What four hours during the week, every single week, will you commit to call out, by the way, I know that there's there's trainers out there who are saying three hours of outgoing calls a day, and it's like, who do you call? I mean, I, I don't even know if I'd have enough people to call three hours of outgoing calls to my database every day. That's You don't need that, by the way, okay? What that means is you're calling everybody a lot of times, and, and quite honestly, it leads to frustration, and, and, and nobody does it. Nobody does it. And so you're there going heavy sigh, okay, good. Um, I'm not the only one, but what I will say is commit, commit to four hours a week, commit to four hours a week, and your business will flourish, your business will prosper. So the hour of power, how will you schedule your hour of power? And, and there's not necessarily a poll on this, but what I want to know is, is here are the multiple ways to schedule your hour of power. Right, I mean, you can do it any way you want. You have four hours, schedule it wherever you can. Um, you could do one hour, four days of the week. You could do one hour one day and three hours another. You could do two hours on one day and two hours on another. And of course, you could do four hours on one day. I, I don't necessarily suggest that because if you miss the day, you've missed the whole week of hours of power. It's hard to make that up. What I do, just to let you know, is I do Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 3 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1 to 3. Now, here's the deal. You can do it any way you want, right? But my suggestion is that. Now, what we need to do next is we have blocked off the time for one-on-ones and for our calls. Now we need to schedule our calls with our champions and our ambassadors. So in our calendar, listen, I mean, this is how you make this happen, right? It doesn't happen if you've got to try to remember it. So you're going to create a recurring event. By the way, there is no other trainer that has ever taught this. This is new. This is truly, if you wanted to ask, this is the, the explosive on the secret weapon of America's most referred real estate professional, blah, 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 blah. But this is it. This is how I make it happen. I create a recurring event in my Outlook calendar for each A plus and A. Remember, I want to call the A pluses 12 times. I just set, set a monthly recurring call with my A pluses. And then my A's get one a quarter. And the beauty of technology is it's going to remind me once a quarter to call my A's during my hour of power. Now, here's the helpful hint: is put in the event a reminder to schedule your one-on-one. -on -one. So you know that you need to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with your A+. Plus. And uh, in the sample, I said two of them for your A's. So put in the event a reminder to schedule your one-on-one. -on -one. So. so here's what it looks like. I know that's blurry, but you're going to get the idea. All right, so I set up a, an event in my calendar in Outlook. This is for Andy Andrews. And I put notice that I put his phone number in the location block. Right? I put his phone number there. I put his name in the subject. I hit recurrence. Follow along. I know that you're going to have to maybe watch this later too. I, I went really, really fast. All right, appointment time. Notice that I do my calls on, on Tuesday and, and Thursdays. One to two. And, and yes, that call is not going to last an hour. It's just going to happen during that hour. Monthly, that means one call per month. For 12, That's 12 calls. The first Tuesday of every month. I'm going to call Andy Andrews the first Tuesday of every month. And then, of course, I put end after uh, 10 occurrences because what I did is I did this over 10 months. Okay? All right, so I hit OK there. So I have now scheduled Andy Andrews for his ambassador calls. Michael? All good? Michael, Mindy wants to know if you meet face-to-face. -face. How often do you meet face-to-face -face with these A ambassadors? How often do I meet with amb ambassadors and face. champions? Face -to -face. I meet with them. I meet with ambassadors at least once a quarter. Once a, once a quarter. Meet with them once a yep. quarter. And I meet with my uh, champions once every half year. So every six months. 
if you have less numbers, you could meet with your champions more often, but I have a lot of, lot of champions. I have a lot of A's and I have a lot of A pluses. So, all right, so here's the thing. You want to, now you've taken care of the A pluses and A's. Now, with your B's, you're going to call them until you've regraded them. My goal every year is by March 31st, I will have no B's in my database. And that makes sense, right? Because I'm asking them, are you the chosen one script? And I am reassigning them to A plus, A, C, or D. The C's, all right? And this is, this is the last part, and there's a little bit of math involved. So the C's get, um, here's how I have to let you know. All right, there's 16 hours of your hour of power, right, per month. And we're going to do this for 10 months. That's a 10-month plan. That's what I do. I do it through October. And that's 160 hours for the hour of power. Isn't that amazing? I mean, that's, that's awesome. Take your number of Cs, and I'll, I'll use the example 500 here in a second. But you're going to take your number of Cs and divide by the number 160 to determine how many Cs you will call per hour. Now, so the sample here is I've got 500 Cs and I have 160 hours. Look at this. Look at 3.125. I can call 500 people over 10 months if I just break it down to three calls per hour of power. Three, not 30, not 100, three calls. That is so manageable when you break it down like that. You don't have to eat the whole elephant in one bite. You eat the elephant a little bit of it at a time three calls per time. So what does that look like? This is, this is what it looks like. I'm, I'm doing an event. This is hour of power one. As an example, notice that I will have um, more of those. I'll do hour of power two, hour of power three, hour of power four, and so on and so forth. I put my C's in the body with the phone number. Right, so phone number, and, and notice that that's real easy. It pops up, opens up, and says, call these three people. Guess what I do? I call those three people. It's, it's really, I know, you're thinking this is really simple. It is simple. Maybe not easy, but simple. So here's what my schedule looks like. Okay? So this is an example from, from last year. And this is, uh, I have Boost, right, that I've been teaching, so ignore that. Ignore Boost Plus. Um, Bob Corcoran did my Boost Plus that week. But the thing we want to focus on here is we have the hour of power that I blocked off from 1 to 3. I have an ambassador that I'm going to call. I have a champion that I'm going to call. And then I've got my three Cs. Make sense? All right, my next hour of power, I'm going to have an ambassador. I'm going to have a champion. And then I'm going to have three more. C's that I call. So this reminder pops up, I call Andy. This reminder pops up, I call uh, Alan. This reminder pops up, I call my three C's. So, and then of course I do the same thing on Thursday. Networking right. stack, I do on Wednesdays. I'm going to take a sip of water here and the last thing, how many of you uh, have ever, ever heard of Charlie Sheen? Okay. All, Good. All 1,068 of you have heard of Charlie Sheen. That's great. How many of you have heard of Britney Spears? Right? Well, well here's what happens. Right? They went on a downward spiral, as, as you know and probably have heard about in the press. And, and what happened, in my opinion, is that they went on a downward spiral because they got to a point where they quit learning. Right? They, they got to a point where it's like, where do I go from here? I'm so successful. I have the number one show on television. What do I do? How do I get better? How do you get better than number one? Well, what happened is is they quit learning and they and they went on a downward spiral. Well, you are here to learn today and and if there is a downward spiral in life, there must be an upward spiral of life. Uh, I truly believe there is an upward spiral of life, and luckily, God made it so that LIFE is an acronym. Okay, I made up the acronym, not God, but, but the bottom line is it works out pretty nice, is that the first step on this upward spiral, and imagine a spiral staircase, and notice the yellow highlighting on the steps, right? The first step is learn. That's what you did today, learn. The second step has an I on it, and of course, that's implement. 
Take what you've learned and implement it. Do it. Just do it without fail. Don't even think about it. Just do it. The third step is fail. Yes, failing is just part of life. It's just part of learning and implementing. Everybody fails. Alan Dom fails. Larry Kendall fails. Gary Keller fails. Michael Mayer fails. We fail. We just happen to be failing at a higher level. So how does that happen, right? Well, the fourth step has an E on it, and that is for evaluate. You want to evaluate what you just learned, implemented, and failed at, and evaluate it with, does it meet my values? Does it, is it benevolent? Does it make sense to me? And does it help me achieve my goals? And does it help me align with my legacy that I want to leave? That's the upward spiral of life. So learn, implement, fail, evaluate. The top producers, the high achievers, what they do is they run up this upward spiral of life. They, they learn, implement, fail, evaluate. And then they learn, implement, fail, evaluate. And please notice that 10 or 12 steps up, they're failing at a much higher level, level, and so on and so forth. So my words of advice today are take this, put it into play, and, and truly remember, you're going to fail. It's OK. It's just part of the deal. Learn, implement, fail, evaluate. And remember that we live in the generosity generation and that communication leads to great relationships and great relationships lead to great referrals. All right, thank you, Michael. Wow. We have a suggested reading list coming up. Uh, we're not going to leave it up too long, but you can rewatch uh, the to... webinar again. Hey, you added one. Oh, yeah, sorry, I did. I put in your book. I had to. It's a bestseller. <laughs> it's a bestseller. And so we're going to get to a couple of great questions, Michael. But before we do, we have a second winner of Michael Mayer's book. It's going to go to Dan Goodwin from Overland Park, Kansas City. Hey, One of my good friends. There's been a lot of people from Overland Park. I was going to say, this is an inside job here. Is he is one of my good friends, and uh, he is a short sale specialist out of Overland Park, Kansas, and uh, okay. he is the real deal, one, just a, one of the greatest people I know. Oh, Dan, if you can let us know your address in the chat, we'll send that book to you from Michael. Oh, you probably have Michael's book. Anyway, you give it away to someone else. So uh, I'll jump in with a question. Um, a lot of people are asking about voicemail, because when they make their calls, that's what they get. Susan mm -hmm. Fox and Sue Ardley and a, a number of others. What do you do? That's a beautiful question. All right, with my A pluses, A's, and B's, I want to get them on the phone. So my voicemail to them is, hey, I had a quick question for you. Give me a shout when you have a chance. I mean, that's literally it. And then they, they return that call. And they're going to, right, because they're A pluses, A's, and B's. With my C's, and this is so critical right now. I'm so glad that you asked. With my C's, and this is December. So December, January, February, with my C's, I am just saying, hey, just thought of you. And of course, I did, because it, it popped up on my screen. But hey, I just thought of you, and I, I just wanted to, to see how you're doing. I hope everything's going well. And here's the thing. I want you to know that I'm still in the business, and, and we're still doing very well. And I want you to know that as you, your friends and neighbors and people that you know are thinking about selling their home right now, Please know that we're taking listings. We need homes to sell. So please do me a favor. Give me a shout with those that you know at our phone number. And, and in this part of the year, December, January, February, March, in Kansas City, I'm hunting listings. I, I, I am telling people I need homes to sell because this is when the really good sellers are thinking about selling. Robert has a question. Uh, networking stacks for only people that give referrals? Or can it be used for new prospective clients? I will tell you that I use it 50-50. Uh, here, it, Robert brings up a great question. Is um, I use it, of course, to nurture current relationships. But it is most effective in taking a zero, somebody you've never met, and taking them to a nine or 10, go, shooting right through client. I want, I want the people on this webinar to know that, that first of all, your best referral source may not be a past client. My best referral source for years was Jeff Crooks, and he still is actually, but he was my best referral source before he was a client. 
So that's the first thing. Build that relationship with a mover and shaker, and they won't worry about being a client of yours. The other thing is because now you know the networking stack at the home court advantage, you now have a way to take these never mets to a champion and ambassador. So these new people you meet may be better referral sources than anybody that's currently in your database because you built the relationship right from the beginning. Great, Michael. I just realized we're at the hour. We've still got some great questions, but would I, can I email them to you and we can post them on our blog? Oh, it would be my pleasure to answer them. Thank you so much. Ashley has a great one. And I'll make sure uh, that we let you guys know when those answers are posted. Yeah, we'll email you all. Michael, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, you also actually have a bonus webinar to tell everyone about, um, and we're going to draw for your boost session at the end of Joe Sesso's 15-minute presentation right now. Wonderful. Why don't you tell well, us about this muscly guy? Yeah, here, here, here's the thing is, is that uh, there's a bonus webinar. First, first of all, I know I threw a lot at you today, so that bonus webinar will be uh, an opportunity for you to answer some of the questions as you start to put this into play and clarify, right? Because I, I really hit high level on a lot of this. So what we want to do, and also I did not even cover a social media aspect to this. So the bonus webinar is legal steroids for your business. Social media is word of mouth on steroids. It's referrals on steroids. And what I'm going to teach you is how to add a, a, a social media aspect to your communication plan to kick it into overdrive. Um, so here's how you do that. You're going to go to 7lbook.com, and then you want to fill out the blank for take a test drive. Uh, now, you're going to click receive the first chapter. Most of you have probably already read the book or received the first chapter. Um, so. Um, in this case, you're, you're going to just do that again, right? That's how you're going to sign up for this. Um, now, if it says that you're already signed up, which I know a lot of you are, what I want you to do, please listen to this, is email me with the subject line that says uh, referrals using social media, okay? So just referrals using social media and email me at info, I-N-F-O, at 7lbook.com if you are already a member of my newsletter list. Okay, so when you, when you register today, you will be registered for that bonus webinar, and it is free, um, and uh, we're going to go into the communication plan with a little more depth, and we're going to add the social media aspects. We are getting a referral every other day from Facebook, LinkedIn, um, from Empire Avenue, and uh, I, I can't say that we're getting a referral every other day from Twitter, uh, but we are using Twitter in a way that feeds the other three uh, that I can't wait to share. Thanks, Michael. That's really sweet offering this bonus. Uh, for everyone out there, Lisa was just saying that some people, about 10 of you, haven't been able to see the slides. We don't know what the technical glitch is relative to that. We sent about 10 people last webinar information asking them to download a few things so we could troubleshoot it. We didn't hear from anyone. So if people have had trouble this time, we're going to send you an email. And if you can reply back, we'd really appreciate it so we can get this problem um, out of the way. Yeah, according to GoTo, it's your computer. So they'll troubleshoot it and make sure your computer is set up correctly. Yes, OK. Thank you, Michael, so, 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 so much. That was awesome. It, it's a blessing. Thank you for having me on. It's been an honor and a privilege. And truly, uh, what you are doing for the industry, uh, doing the free webinars and, and having, I mean, you're having Barbara Corcoran on, you've had Larry Kendall, Gary Keller, uh, you, you've had legends in the industry on, the, on, this, on these webinars, and, and they're delivering content that they could get nowhere else. Phenomenal. I, I just have to say thank you and express my appreciation for, for what you and, and Homes.com and the rest of the sponsors are doing. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks, Michael. Now we have... Joe Sesso, do you have a drum roll? No. Well, Joe. thank you, Michael. You're, you're free to stick around, or we'll see you next time, which I'm sure there will be. <laughs> Joe, are you there? I am. I'm here. And I'm hey. very excited to uh, present the uh, top 10 must-have real estate apps for smart devices. Great. Go the, ahead. Yeah, this was, this was probably one of the, probably the most popular presentation we did at NAR this year in Anaheim. So. I first of all want to say thank you for having me back. 
I know that you had the opportunity to, to, to listen to it firsthand and see it firsthand at NAR. So having me back on means that we must have had a lot of people that liked it. So that's great to, that's great to know. So, and, uh, and in regards to Michael, that was a great presentation. And one of the things he mentioned Alan Dalton a lot, before becoming the speaker at Homes.com, I was the national speaker for, for Realtor.com for three years. And actually, my, one of my interviews was with Alan Dalton to, uh, to go there. So uh, that's how I got to meet Alan Dalton. And he's uh, definitely a legend in the industry. So uh, very cool. And it's great to be able to uh, work with a lot of great people that, um, that uh, Alan has uh, touched in, in so many ways. So yeah, so we're going to get started now with this. And, and these are the top apps. And they're not going to be in any particular order, like 1 through 10. Here's the number one app. These are just the top 10 apps. So I'm going to go one at a time, but they're not in any particular particular order. So if you have an Android or you have an iPhone or an iPad or an Android-based uh, tablet device, uh, these are for you. And I know some people ask about Blackberries, but some of these apps are also available for Blackberries. But as we all know, uh, that the top performing phones, the top must-have phones today, everybody always talks about are the two platforms of the uh, iPhone uh, operating system as well as the uh, Android operating system. So that's why most of the apps we're going to talk about pertain to these. So we'll start with the top 10 apps. We're going to go, these, these are some of the badges that are up there. So listeners, you may recognize some of these badges. If not, don't worry, because I'm going to tell you what they are. So we're going to start with number one. And the number one app is the Homes.com Mortgage Calculator app. This is a great app because a lot of people, when you're out there showing properties, a lot of times you have clients that say, wow, you know, I'm, I'm just not seeing anything that's, that's really blowing me away here. I wonder if we can afford to go up to the next price bracket. Years ago, you'd say, well, let's talk to your mortgage person, and then he'll run the numbers, and then he'll get back to me, and then we'll be able to sh see if we can show you those properties. Now, the problem with that is if you didn't really have a, a connection with those people beforehand, we always ran that risk of losing them to another agent. And, and so having this mortgage calculator app, it is a great app to have on your phone because you can run the numbers right from your smart device right in front of them and then see if you can proceed or not. And this is a free download, which is really nice because the other top apps for Mortgage Calculator, they all cost money. So this does all the same things that any of those other apps do, but, but it's free. So it has a rent versus buy option, and you can put in monthly payments, amortization, uh, the number of years uh, on the payment, as well as uh, your down payment. So and, and interest rate. So it's, it's a great app works really well, and you can see how useful this could be for the real estate business. Okay, number two. The number two app is Craigslist. And so we talk about Craigslist because Craigslist is still a very much used platform. You have people listing properties for rent and for sale, and most importantly is that consumers are still looking for properties for rent and for sale on Craigslist. So this was another much in-demand presentation that we did at NAR talking about Craigslist. The thing is is that a lot of it comes down to timing, to, to making sure that your listing is remaining on that first list of Craigslist. And, and the easiest way to be able to manage your Craigslist postings is from your smart device. This way I can be anywhere in the world and I can go on and I can manage my listings. I can repost them when they expire. I can cancel and repost them to get better placement. I can manage the listings around. So, so having this Craigslist on my smartphone or on my iPad is a great thing to have because it makes my life easier and I can strategically time when I want those listings to go back onto Craigslist. Now, this is also a free download app, although Craigslist does have apps that are for sale uh, in, in more, a little bit more advanced. But I found that using just the basic one is, is all I need for managing my, my listings on Craigslist. OK, number three, Evernote. Now, Evernote is an app that a lot of agents are starting to learn about now, but a, a lot of them haven't really used. And so what I love about Evernote is the fact that this is your one-stop shop for everything from, from task management to note-taking, voice notes. And I know some people say, well, wait a minute, Joe. I've got that on my, my iPhone. I've got a voice memo record. I've got a little notebook I can take notes on. The problem with that is, is that I found that they're now in one place. I have to tap on that app for my written notes. I have to tap on my voice memos to, re to recall them. Evernote puts everything in one place. So if I want to put a daily list of things I've got to do, so going back to, to Michael Mayer's uh, presentation, talking about people I need to call today. I can write that down on my Evernote app and put it right in there, people I need to call. Maybe I'm driving down the street and I see something that I, I really like. Maybe it's, it's something I need, to, I need to get on right away. I can do a voice memo right from my phone and saying, okay, here's the number. So this way I don't have to worry about texting and driving at the same time. 
I can just go on and do a voice memo. And then the best part about Evernote is not only is it free, but I can access my notes, whether they're voice notes or regular just texted notes, from any device that is linked to my Evernote account. So I can record the, the note, the memo, from my iPhone, but I can go on my PC at night and retrieve it and listen to it. So it, it's cloud computing. It's all parked in one place. And it is pretty amazing that you can get all of that and all your devices linked to one account. So Evernote is great. It really enables you to get things done more efficiently because you have your tasks right in front of you and you're able to take these, these types of notes. So when you talk about all these you know, the calls you need to make or your, your power hours, it makes it really easy for you just to simplify your day by having everything planned out right on your any, any, any device, whether it be a smartphone or your iPad or PC. All right, number four. There's nothing fancy about this app, but this app can literally save your life. It is called the Real Alert app. And what I like about this app, well, this is the, first of all, this is the first app that costs money. It's $1.99. But it might be the best dollar ninety nine you spend because we've all heard of situations where agents have been showing properties, and you've heard of agents who have been assaulted while showing properties, or agents who've just really been just been scared and they didn't know what the motive was be behind that particular person who came to see the property. So what you can do is you can have this app keyed up, and if you look at the second phone from the left there, that that can actually be up on your screen, so you can shake hands with the person. And you can have this holding. If you shake with your right hand, you can have this in your left hand. And if, if, if they lunge at you or something happens, you press that red button, and that's, that goes right to 911. And it's right from your smartphone. You also can activate an alarm. It's in the upper left-hand corner of that second phone on the left. Uh, an alarm will sound, so that can scare off the intruder or the, the person. You can also connect your friends with that. So you can contact your friends and say, look, I, I'm, it's, it's laid out. And uh, I'm just getting a creep from this person. Can, can you just uh, stay on the phone or, or, or call me like in a minute or so and let me know, you know, just, uh, just to get me talking to somebody and make it look like I'm doing something. They can do that from there. The lower right-hand corner there from that second phone, you can uh, locate local hospitals. And also, this is one of my favorite things in here. You can actually input creep data. So you might have somebody that just really gave you the creeps when you were showing that property to. And you said, you know, I'm going to warn my colleagues that this, this guy is a little bit uh, suspicious. And you can in, enter information, description, and share it with your real estate colleagues so that they know that they get a call and if this person comes up, that just to be on alert because that was a person who really kind of freaked you out about uh, when, you, when they show you that property. So this is called the Real Alert app. It's $1.99, and you can get that through your app store. Number five, LoopNet app. Now, LoopNet is a great place for commercial properties. So if you're selling commercial properties or you have clients that want you to help represent them in a commercial transaction. A lot of times in the bigger commercial buildings, they're not posting listings on the MLS, these, these type of listings. So if they're not posted on the MLS, they're going to be on LoopNet. And sometimes they're on both. But this is great. This is also a free download, and it gives you access to search for commercial properties in your area uh, using this app. So this is great if you're, if you're getting into commercial properties, whether it be for yourself as an investment or if you're selling and listing commercial properties for clients. Number six, personally, my favorite app, and the reason for this is because I've actually used this app many times. Uh, it's called the iMovie app. This is for the, I, the iPhone, but the Android alternative is called Clash Video Editor. Now, these both cost money. They're $4.99 a piece, but it might be the best $4.99, $4.99 that you spend. The reason for that is that you can shoot professional video, and, and I know you can do that with your phones already, but with the difference here is that you can... You can uh, record snippets, edit them, piece them together. You can add text on there. So if you want to reinforce a point of a room, whether it be new cabinetry, countertops, you can put all that in there. And you can also import music from your music library on your phone as, as a over, it's an overtone for music while people are watching your video tour. You can add before and after credits uh, and do voiceovers as well. And, and just to give you a quick example, I own a property that's about 1,000 miles from where I actually live. So we did a complete rehab project on this. And before I flew back to Chicago, where I live, I, I said, let me just shoot a quick video. I shot little snippets of each room. And as I was doing that and walking the rooms, I actually was talking about the highlights of each room and what we had done as improvements. Now, when I was on the plane getting ready to leave, in about this all happened in about 10 minutes, I was able to edit my video, piece all the snippets together, add the text where I wanted it, the before and ending credits. then. I said, you know, this property's in New Orleans. I'm going to use a jazz, um, little jazz tune for it. 
I imported a jazz song from my iTunes library, put it right over it, and the greatest part about it is that it did not get in the way of my voice. My voice still was louder than the music, but it, it just had great background music, and people were able to see this and really, and, and really get the chance to enjoy the video. And then one press of the button from one of these apps, and it will upload the video to YouTube. So this is great when you want to show clients some of the work you've done on, on video tours and what you can do for their property. Uh, iMovie is also available for, uh, for iPad, and then Android also has a, a version as well. So again, this is something that you definitely want to be able to use. You've got these great smartphones, and for less than $5, you can have professional video editing and video recording uh, software right on there. All right, number seven, Dropbox. Dropbox is a very important app. This is also free, uh, like some of the other apps we've talked about. Setting up a Dropbox account is free. But how many times as an agent have you done a tremendous listing presentation using PowerPoint and your sellers say to you, boy, we love that presentation. I want to just be able to see it again. Can you send that over to me? Now, normally the file might be too big to send via email. So what do you do? You use Dropbox. Dropbox is cloud computing. So you set up your free account. You upload that PowerPoint presentation to your Dropbox account. You click Share. You can put in the person's email address. Dropbox will send them an email saying that you shared a file with them. They can go on, create a free account, and then download that presentation to their computer. So using cloud computing, you can move big files easily, and it's free as well. Number eight, for sale by owner app. A lot of agents, they work FISBOs, and, and some of the, the, the systems that people were using were antiquated, trying to go get Sunday papers and cut out the addresses and the phone numbers, put them in a Rolodex. Nowadays, a lot of for sale by owners are not even listing in the paper. So where do you go? For sale by owner .com. It, 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 This app is free. And what this does is it gives agents all the for sale by owners in the area as well as, as well as their phone numbers, pictures, and everything. And then you can take your for sale by owner system and be able to contact them and say, I've got buyers that might be interested. Are you willing to cooperate? If so, great. Tour the house. And you've got all your basic, your lead generation is coming right from this app for FISBO. So again, this one is free as well. It is a great app to use if you're going to work for sale by owners. Number nine is Keynote, and then the Android alternative is going to be Quick Office Pro's PowerPoint. Now, Keynote costs $9.99. The Android alternative is $19.99. But the reason why these are so necessary is if you're going to spend the money, $500 or more for an iPad, or you're going to spend $400 or more for an Android version of, your, of, a, of a tablet, you're going to want to have some powerful presentation software on there. I mean, that's what it's all about. So you can have this great presentation that you're going to wow your sellers with. And the best way to do that is have professional presentation software. So it's worth spending the money because now I can put my entire presentation in this slideshow and be able to deliver it right from my iPad or my Android tablet. So this is something you can do. It's, it's easy to use. It's also available for the phones. But obviously, when you're doing presentations, you want to present from a larger platform. And there's no better place to do that than from a nice tablet that you can easily interchange and go from your presentation to a video tour and so on and so forth. Finally, the last app we're going to talk about is the Homes.com real estate app. This is free. Uh, you can access instantly nearly 4 million homes for sale nationwide. It's also available on an iPad as well as Android. And what's great about this is you're driving down the street. And somebody says to you, hey, you pulled up listings, but you never pulled up that one that we just looked, drove by. You can go on your, your homes.com app, look it up, and say, oh, well, the reason why is because that's $300,000 more than what you qualified for. So that's why I didn't get a chance to pull that up. But I can show you all the photos from my homes.com app here. So again, this is a great app. It's free, and it gives you access to all those things. And you can see there the graphics on that are great. You can get a bird's eye view or go all the way down and see the actual photos from within the house as well. So at homes.com, we've also released a Facebook app, which is great because if you're building a Facebook business page, you want to make sure that you're out there and you're, you're getting some good content on that page. Half the battle of having a successful Facebook business page is getting people to like your page. That's half the battle. So advertising that, marketing that. But once you get people to like your page, the second half is content. So yeah, you want to talk about what's going on in, in, in your real estate market, what's happening in, in news. But also, you've got to show some listings and, and show them what you're doing. And the Homes.com app seamlessly connects your Homes.com listings to your Facebook business page. So now I can just click, and now I'm looking at all of your listings right on Homes.com. I can click on the listing, 
and now go see all the photos, the description, and then most importantly, your contact information. And that is, again, that's free. Also, we talked about top apps for your computer. And when I, when I say that, I'm talking about Homes Connect. Homes Connect is our app store. Log in once, you access everything. So you're looking here at this dashboard. These are all individual apps that we have. And this, this is what you can actually use. You can manage your entire real estate business from one login, which is pretty amazing. So for example, if I want to look at my social networking, I can get the social networking app, click on that, and then what I can do is I can actually import my prospects from Facebook, Google, and LinkedIn. With Facebook, not only can I get my friends imported, but I can import my friends and friends. So if we talk about some serious prospecting, we can do all that from here. And then once I import my contacts, I can manage them. I can put them in different drip campaigns uh, using the, if you, if you look up to the, the right center here, uh, this is the email marketing campaign. So I can basically, basically take them from social networking and put them into a drip campaign using the email marketing app if I wanted to do that. Now this other app right here is called See Amazing. And this, is, this gives you CMAs like, like never before. It's another great app because what we're doing is we are giving you graphs, we're giving you comps, but you're getting all this great stuff, and you can see the great colors that just pop. And this is something you're providing for your clients. So you can do you can do buyer presentations with this, uh, buyer neighborhood presentations, or CMAs for your sellers. And again, we're driving all of this data for you. All you got to do is pop in the addresses, and we pull up all this information for you. So this is an amazing app. It gives you the most detailed reports anybody's going to see. And it's going to differentiate your CMAs from any other CMA that is out there. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, another thing, and the easiest way to, to get on the homes.com dashboard is to have a homes.com account. So this is homes.com. One of the products that we have, it's a great system. It's called Featured Listings. This enables your listings to pop up first on top of every single search page. So you can see those five listings up there. Those are popping up first. When I turn the page, Below that, I get nine new listings. However, those five stay the same. So by looking at that, now I can, I can get 10 times the exposure of the average listing on homes.com with a featured listing. It's a great sales point, and if I'm on a listing presentation and I need to really seal the deal, I can go to my seller and say, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, if you list with me today, I'm going to put your home at the top of the page on homes.com. You're going to get 10 times the exposure of the average uh, listing on homes.com and you're going to be seen on every single search page. And then I'm just one click away from seeing your preferred listing with multiple photos, contact information. It's all there for them to be able to see it. That's what's most important. So we do have some, some show specials. Uh, if, if there's a couple ways to contact us if you're interested. Uh, you can post, so you can just post uh, this info as your question, your name, your phone number, your MLS, and then we can get back to you at that. Uh, you can email us at, at productinfo at homes.com. That's product info at homes.com, or you can call us at 888-510-8795, and those are different ways to connect with us as well. So definitely uh, be able to do that. If you want to connect with me, uh, you, can, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's just simply twitter.com slash Joe Sesso, or you can, you can see me on Facebook as well. It's facebook.com slash Joe Sesso. Dot edutainer, that's E-D-U-T-A-I-N-E-R. And I'd love to be able to connect with you and be able to, uh, to work with you on that as well. But I want to thank Mel and everybody for having me out here. My thank pleasure, you, Joe. Joe. That, that was, was fantastic. Great. We've got some great questions for you. We're going to actually do a drawing for somebody on this webinar to win a free boost with Michael Mayer. But before we do that, Mel, do you want to ask a question? Uh, yeah, Max wants to know uh, when commercial properties will be on Homes.com. Hope it didn't that's throw great. you a monkey that's wrench. A, that's, no, that's a great question. Actually, commercial properties are already on Homes.com. We do pull them from the MLS. And here's the great thing about this. What you can do is if you're not seeing your commercial properties being pulled from the MLS for, for whatever reason, you can actually, this is another differentiating factor of Homes.com versus other real estate portals, is that you can upload your own listings. So I can put my own commercial listings on there if I want to. I can put private listings on there if I want to, whereas uh, you, you don't just have to have them pulled from the MLS. We enable agents the opportunity to put commercial properties on as well. And if they're not coming from the MLS, you can upload them uh, personally yourself. So there's a lot of questions, of course, about price point. 
And uh, I think we'll just refer those to the experts, yes, if you put your name, phone number, and your MLS, uh, because we need your MLS. So if you've chatted one of those questions, drop that to us, and we'll have somebody uh, get back with you. Or give them a call right now if you can't wait. Um, and Canada, is Canada coming down the pike uh, for these Homes Connect and or, you know, that question might have also been about the top 10 apps, which I see no reason that any of those apps wouldn't work in Canada, but what do you say, Joe? Yeah. I mean, those, those those apps would work in Canada with the exception of any one that has to, that only pulls like U.S. data. So I don't know if, if LoopNet is in Canada. They, they may be. Um, so, but but with homes with homes.com right now, we we're still it's one of the things that obviously that we work on. Although you could upload your listings because again we give agency opportunity to upload listings if they want to. Uh, but with uh, with uh, Homes Connect, there's a number of things you can use from there. What you know if you're even if you're in in uh, Canada as well. So, Joe, thank you so much. We actually have a winner now, and the winner is D Matthews. And Dee, if you are on still, please uh, type in your name and your address, and we'll get and your phone number, and we'll talk to you after this webinar is over. You win a January spot in Michael Mayer's boost session. Joe, that was fantastic. I'd love to have you back to enlighten us on other technical matters. Thank you so much. Uh, next Thank month, you. January, sure. We have Sue Adler. She's an um, excellent speaker speaking at all the big conferences, don't miss her. And the beautiful Barbara Corcoran from ABC Shark Tank, you can't miss her, March 2012. Mel. Well, thank you. Mike, Michael, are you still there? Because I know I saw you listening. Yeah, I'm sure he was listening to that app. Yes. What a, thank you, everybody, for sticking around. We hope we made it I am. your wife. I am. <laughs> well, great. Thank you for all your generosity, <laughs> as always. <laughs> well, congratulations yeah. to the... Congratulations to Dee Matthews. That's a that's a five hundred dollar gift there, and I and I can't wait to hear her success story after she's uh, gone through it. Great, fantastic. And people can sign up for that even if they didn't win. Correct. That's correct. Yep. Thanks, Michael. Um, Secrets. Just so you all know, Secrets webinars regularly overflows. In fact, today we almost hit two thousand um, registrations. So you need to go to secretstopsellingagents.com. Um, and follow the link and sign up soon, to, definitely for Sue Adler's. And while you're there, you can check out Michael Mayer's archive presentations from this past year and last year's. Uh, there are 45 other top real estate agents, brokers, trainers, and authors giving you free education. And there are not too many places, as Michael said, where you can get free education from real estate giants that you respect. <coughs> we, uh, again, we have a wonderful speaker in March. But Barbara Corcoran, don't miss her. Be sure to participate in the exit survey. I appreciate your feedback. In fact, I read everybody's feedback, so please make sure you write something. Goodbye, Mel and Laura and Lindsay and Michael and Joe, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye, everybody. Not what you send, it's that you do. I don't believe. All my emails are personalized. My houses come up in the... You're recording that testimony. Really, the more you have to be organized. Not to put all your eggs into one basket. Keep those people remembering you. Give them what they're looking for. But properly priced is the key. I say, how can I do this different? You know, we don't have a technology problem. We have a people problem. You have to build a relationship. Secrets of top-selling agents.